I'm going to show you how to get all the treasure chests and the warp trotter in the great mine in Jarillo 6. I'm also going to show you to get the bountiful and plentiful chests and stuff like that. Okay, so you're going to not be able to do this until you've completed enough of the story to fully unlock this place. But after you've done that, then you can go right here for the first one. It's right around this corner, so you're coming up right there. It'll be on your right. It'll be right here. It's all something to collect right That's here. Good. Then from here, what you're going to want to do is cross this bridge. At the end of it will be a side path that I don't know if it was available the first time we came through or not. So we're going to cross the bridge. And up here on the left will be a side path, which, again, I'm, I'm not sure if it was available at the start or not the first time. But anyway, go left right here. And then for now, we're going to skip that thing. We'll deal with that in a sec. Uh, we're going to go through here. There's a guy there, but you can ignore him potentially and get a basic treasure. That basic treasure was right there on the map. That's how to get that one. Now we're going to backtrack. And now we're going to interact with this robot. So this is one of those circuit structure games. So we can do, I think, this and then that. There we go. That'll reconnect them. And now after that, we can investigate him. And he will lead us somewhere. I'm going to wait a second and then... I don't know if he'll go past unless I fight this guy, actually. No, he will. Darn it. Okay, he will if you do it better than that. That, that was unfortunate. Okay, so after that battle, keep on following him now. Uh, I don't want to fight these things. I'm going to sprint through real fast. Okay. So we're going to get through here. And he will lead us around to the left. I think I have to get near him, though. Kind of a weird spot here because of these enemies. I'm just going to have to fight these enemies, I guess. All right, after that battle, now hopefully he'll keep moving. He's saying detecting obstacles in the way. Oh, no, no, okay, yeah, so I don't know. It, it's hit or miss. That was kind of confusing. Sometimes he goes past the enemy, sometimes he doesn't. Probably best just to kill all the enemies. All right, we go back here. He does this thing, and he'll reveal a bountiful treasure. So that is how to get that bountiful treasure. That He led me to right here on the map. After that one, we're going to backtrack right here, and there's a basic treasure right here to grab. So this basic treasure is right there on the map. After that, you're going to head over this way. And then from here, you're going to go to the right. I'm probably going to have to fight all these guys. Uh, but yeah, there was one right here. I've already grabbed it, but there's one right over there. All right, after you get this chest over here, we're going to go... We're on the map right here. We're going to go to the side path that's not always... Not really obviously visible on the map. So go here, and to the right, there's a side path. And you can head back into here for another um, basic treasure right there so that basic treasure is right there on the map okay so then after that you're gonna backtrack and you can go over here and then go to the right and back here is another basic treasure just right on the path you can grab that then you're going to after that chest head over here to the left to the um west i guess you're gonna go through here and you can wrap around to the right and there'll be a chest just right here on the path this chest is right there that's how to get that one. Now we're going to head north over to here. There was a side quest here for the Night on the Great My Part 1. I have a guide for that description in this video if you need it. But there's a chest right back here. Right there. So that's where you get another basic treasure. Then you're going to head over this way. And over here, the Warp Trotter location in Honkai Star Rail can be found right here in this path. And if you head over here, here he is. So we're going to start off with attacking him and then the way these things work if you're not familiar is that you have to kill him before a certain amount of time or else he'll run away now it's very forgiving so as long as you can beat the battle in a somewhat reasonable amount of time then it's probably not going to be too bad All right, so now that he did that, now he will escape if, um, if I don't kill him fast enough. But you can see the top of the turn order. I have a decent amount of time to kill him. Although, come to think of it, maybe I won't actually be able to get him. This one's Let's running pretty darn fast. Um, second thought, I think he's going to get away. Change my mind. This one ran a lot. That's because the guy action advanced him. The guy used action advance on him. So I'm going to I'm gonna have to reset it and do it again. 
That's crazy. I didn't know you could, that could happen. Okay, well, in that case, I guess I got to reset him. Maybe if I fast travel and come back. That's crazy. I, I didn't think about that. He actually speed buffed him. So I guess in that particular fight, killing the one guy right away is extremely important. Um, no, I guess you can't. I don't know. That doesn't that doesn't reset him. I'll have to figure out how to reset him. Okay, I figured out how to reset him if you ever f mess up with one of these. <laughs> is you go to the map and you go to the Star Rail map and you go to a totally different planet or something. like, Or maybe just even, it's, even in Jarlo 6. Maybe you just go to a different place. But I went to the Herd Space Station and then I came back and now he's back. So now let me try this again and let me go ahead and beat this guy. So, in this case, uh, I'm also going to have no all my ultimates, so it's going to be way easier this time, just purely off of having my ultimates. The truth of life and death with the sanctuary is but a vision. Break! Scared yet? <laughs> this is our right, I froze that guy. That, that pretty much secures this for me. Do that, and then we can use my ulti here. Single target. My main character is way higher level than everyone else. They spent a ton of points leveling her up. So I just one tapped them with her ult, and now we're good on the warp trotter. Just a scratch. Fighting is meaning. Who will it be? Let's go. Yeah. All right. So there we go. And that's the fight there. And that is the Warp Trotter. So if you wonder where the Warp Trotter location was in Honkai Star Rail, it was right there on the map. Okay, so after the Warp Trotter, now what we're going to do is keep heading down this path. And there will be a treasure just right here on the path. Um, right there. You can get a treasure right there on the map. In case you were, you know, wondering... In case you wonder wondering where all the treasures are. And that's what I'm doing. But anyway, there, that was the treasure right there. Uh, and then after that, we're going to have to backtrack now to this overlook. And teleport here. And then once we get here, we go here and we go to the right. And there will be a boss fight here guarding a super awesome chest. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. All right, after you beat that enemy, which was actually a pain in the butt to do for what level I am right now, uh, you can get this precious treasure. This precious treasure is right there on the map in the Great Mine. After that, we're going to turn around. We're going to backtrack now over this way. And over here, you'll be able to see there's a mark on the map for another enemy that we need to fight. Now, uh, I highly recommend going back up here, which I almost forgot to do. Going back up here in order to heal real fast before doing the next one, if you're doing them in order like I'm doing right here. All right, so now we're going to head over here. And go back here and fight these enemies. After that battle's over, you'll be able to pick up the Bountiful Treasure right here. So that's that right there on the map for that Bountiful Treasure. Now the last thing we need to do is we're going to have to backtrack some. There's an area that looks hidden on the map. So we're going to go over here and there's a path right here on the map. Right there, which will unlock all this. And we're going to go up here and go to the left. And then to the right and then to the left. And up here is the last of the basic treasures. Looks so good. now if I open up the map, well, you'll see I have all the treasures and I have the warp trotter. I also got all the other chests that are hidden behind enemies and stuff. That's everything, guys. That's how to get all the treasures and the warp trotter in the great mines in Honkai Star Rail.